Greetings everyone, the scary shirtless monkey libertarian guy here with a little bit of a thought. I did some thinking and I realized how we can actually make coronavirus go away. Yes, I thought that it wasn't possible to make coronavirus just go away. And technically, it's still not possible. However, um, there's a lot of information out there that's not good. For example, pretty much all immunity fades to near irrelevance after about six months, natural or otherwise. It doesn't really matter whether it's a vaccine or not, it seems that after about six months you've lost so many antibodies that you're kind of screwed. So you're going to get it again. <clears throat> so the trick then is either we give Pfizer and other companies that make vaccines a ton of money every six months for the rest of our natural lives, or everyone needs to be exposed to COVID within six-month periods every single six months. Someone needs to be exposed to it. Basically, the trick is everyone needs to get COVID, so to speak. Everyone needs to be exposed to it on a constant basis. So rather than attempting to kill off all the COVID, which encourages mutations that get around the things that are stopping it, making it more virulent, for example, but not necessarily more deadly, rather than attempting to kill COVID, what we need to do is encourage COVID to mutate into a form that is both very easy to spread and not very symptomatic at all. We need COVID to become something that doesn't generally harm people very much, if at all, much like, you know, cold and flu, and that is very easy to spread to other people. We actually need to get a weakened version of COVID to become endemic to the point that everybody is spreading it to everybody else, and it's just like any other bacterium or virus that we constantly have all the time. There are literally thousands upon thousands of bacteria that are in our bodies, on our bodies, on this desk I'm touching here, on that lens that's looking at me, um, you know, everywhere. There's bacteria and viruses and all kinds of stuff like that everywhere. So if we can get a strain of COVID that is so weak that it doesn't produce meaningful, serious symptoms, and that is easy to spread among everybody, it will cause everybody to constantly stimulate the production of antibodies to COVID, which means, effectively, this weakened, virulent strain of COVID will cause protection against all the other, more dangerous strains of COVID as well. And because everybody is spreading it on a constant basis, everybody's immune to COVID. And COVID settles into this sort of equilibrium where we have this strain that's the perfect balance that gets transmitted between humans and causes all humans to be that whole herd immunity thing that everybody wants. The problem is that the vaccines were basically doomed to booster shots for the rest of our lives and it does not cause the production of that kind of a specific mutation that we would actually need to make it go away. This is the perfect plan. The, there is no flaw in this plan. The only people that would have a problem with this are the same people that have a problem with every other disease that is of no major consequence. Primarily the immunocompromised, and maybe very old people who tend to be immunocompromised. Anyway, uh, apparently not wearing a shirt and showing you the glory of the hair that I'm kind of getting scared of and might punch me in the face has just revealed this truth to me. That's really all there is to it. That's how we can beat it. But the problem is it doesn't exist yet. And over time, I believe what ends up happening is naturally you have diseases settle into this weak phase that is both very easy for it to spread, but also it doesn't kill off its hosts. And that's the problem is right now, the way that we're treating it, we're encouraging it to become much more virulent, but it's the only people that cease, that stop a viral mutation in its tracks are the ones that die. See, to some extent, us screwing around with everything has actually caused it so that 
it doesn't matter how dangerous it is, how powerful it is, it, it, it just keeps going. It just keeps spreading. And, you know, you get treatment-resistant COVID over time as it mutates and evolves. What we need is treatment-resistant COVID that also causes no meaningful symptoms. That's really the problem. So let's see what we can do to make that happen. I can't do a damn thing to make that happen. Can you? No, you can't do a damn thing to make that happen either. Also, now that we're at the end of the video, why am I green? Oh, I wish I could show you. Um, I'm green because there are, here I'll use this as a mirror, there's a light there, and there's a light there, and they're fun to play with. So I decided to play with them for this video. Since we're talking about disease, why not adopt the universal color for disease? You know, uh, green. So, let's see. Uh, something more appropriate, perhaps. Let's make it a little, a little redder. Oh yeah, we're at COVID stage zero, boys. Oh, red alert. Oh, the starship's going down. It's got COVID. All right, I'm done screwing around. Thanks for listening. Um, I would actually, hang on, I gotta fix this. Okay, I would actually be very interested in hearing what any of you have to say about that in the comments. Serious discussion only. Take care.